what a day. They started in the sunshine in sparkling kits and ended up with dust-covered kits, sweat-stained, and a big day. This morning I thought, you know, maybe today's the day. Ça y est, c'est parti. Comme tous les jours, attaque au kilomètre zéro. Trois contre-attaquants, alors que les trois hommes de tête qui traversent Villeneuve d'Ascq possèdent 24 secondes d'avance sur le peloton maillot jaune. 200 mètres d'écart entre les deux groupes de trois à l'avant, jonction imminente. Here, Here we, we go with the first sector. Welcome to hell. The cobbles have arrived. Morkov looking really strong as he really piles the pressure on. Oh, Pochakar taking it on. Alexis Goujar perd le contact dans le groupe de tête. An attack then of the white jersey on the wheel of Jasper Stuyven. Tadi Pogacar has mastered the cobbles so far. Magnus Court chasing for all he is worth to try and give his teammate a chance of taking yellow. Magnus sorti cette distance et du groupe de tête. Ils sont plus que quatre en tête. Allez, Taco Van der Rohm, maintenant qu'il y a un peu plus de force également, Taco Van der Rohm. Le même sprint que sur la Bruxelles classique. Il a de la force, il est capable de faire un sprint de 700 mètres, Taco Van der Rohm, avec le retour de Simon Clark. Simon Clark, Taco Van der Rohm, c'est... Euh, c'est qui Je pense que c'est Clark. Ils sont incroyables. An incredible day. We said it would be chaotic. Well, that's exactly what we got. To win on the Tour de France at 35 years of age, that must be something. Yeah, I mean, uh, after the winter I had when I had no team, yeah, I, st I still can't believe I got it on the line there. Taco was well ahead of me even with less than 50 metres to go and I was cramping both legs and I just lined up the biggest throw I could possibly do and I just prayed it was enough and honestly, I, I still, I need to watch the replay. I, I, don't, I don't still don't quite believe it.